Danny is an exhausting character and going to those places on a daily basis, having that haircut, shooting on the streets of New York, it was tough. It was not an easy show to make and about 50% of the way through, I was counting down the days that I could take this year off and have some time to myself. We all know Tom Holland as the charismatic and energetic Peter Parker, saving the day with his quick wit and astonishing acrobatics. But recently he ventured beyond his superhero persona. He took on the challenge of portraying a psychologically complex person in the series The Crowded Room and it absolutely broke him. It pushed him beyond the edge of his emotional limits and sent him down a black hole. So brace yourselves as we peel back the curtain on the series and how it shattered Tom's spirit. Before we go into the video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell button too, to turn on the notifications and receive regular updates every time we post a new video. With that out of the way, let's get right into the video. The 27-year-old Tom Hollins got our hearts to come to a standstill by playing Peter Parker in the popular Spider-Man film franchise. Even though several critics had doubts about whether a bloke from England could play the iconic superhero, he proved everyone wrong with his charisma. Right now, he has played the part of Spider-Man in several movies. Fans are also eagerly looking forward to his appearance in Spider-Man 4, which is set to be released in 2025. However, not too long ago, Tom decided to stray away from the dashing young hero persona and opt for something different, something a bit more challenging. Yeah, he took on a role in the new Apple TV Plus series, The Crowded Room. It has been Tom Holland's most daring and transformative role to date. The film involved Tom playing the role of a man who was arrested for his involvement in a shooting back in 1979. So as you can imagine, it was a gritty and psychologically dark project. Most people might think that acting is one of the easiest professions out there. However, playing a complicated character who has done terrible things can take a pretty big toll on you. It might be very hard to see the world through that person's lens. And this was exactly the problem that Tom faced while playing the character in the film. It pushed him to an edge and he could no longer stomach acting. So he has decided to take a break from all of it. But despite how strenuous the role was, Tom got an incredible opportunity on producing the series. This was a huge milestone in his career. While talking about his time filming the series, Tom said, I, I love the learning curve of becoming a producer. I'm no stranger to hard work. I've always sort of lived by this idea that hard work is good work. Um, and I really enjoyed it. But then again, the show did break me. He also went on about how he needed an emotional reset after the filming of the series was wrapped up. There did come a time where I was sort of was like, I need to have a break. I disappeared. I went to Mexico for a week and had some time on a beach and lay low. Uh, and I'm now taking a year off. And you know, that is a result of how difficult this show was. Oh, poor Tom. He also added, and We were exploring certain emotions that I have definitely never experienced before. And then on top of that, being a producer, dealing with the day-to-day -day kind of problems that, you know, come with any film set, uh, just added that extra level of pressure. But I, you know, I really enjoyed it. However, some fans and critics were quite suspicious about the timing when Tom announced his sabbatical. You see, as of now, The Crowded Room boasts a 94% fan score on Rotten Tomatoes, but an awful 26% score from critics. So many people thought that Tom was taking a break because of all the negative reviews. But Tom cleared the air. Tom said on Live with Kelly and Mark that bad reviews had nothing to do with his decision to break from acting. The choice was made when The Crowded Room wrapped filming last year, meaning Holland is already months into his Hollywood hiatus. Tom laughed off the accusations and said, that would it's have so been funny. terrible. Obviously, The Crowded Room came out. We didn't have very favorable reviews. So the, the uh, press story was that I have taken this year off because of the reviews. But I'm eight months into my year off. I've been chilling at home in London. You've been going to Grand Prix. I've been going to Grand Prix, playing golf. But despite the negative comments from the critics, Tom is incredibly happy and grateful for his fans. He doubled down on the negative Crowded Room reviews by praising his supporters and said, But what I will like to say is I would like to say a massive thank you to my fans and the people that have seen the show, because we're at a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. So yeah. I, feel, I feel so grateful that I have a wonderful community of people that support me and are there for me. Uh, so I'm honored and really excited for the rest of the show. To Tom. Tom further commented on the meltdown he had while playing the character and said, I was seeing myself in the character, but in my personal life. I remember having a bit of a meltdown at home and thinking like, I'm going to shave my head. I need to shave my head because I need to get rid of this character. 
And obviously we were mid-shooting, so I decided not to. It was unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Now you guys might be thinking, what awful things had Tom's character done in the series to affect him to such a great level? Well, this series is an investigation that follows and unearths secrets buried deep inside the mind of the young man accused of the violent crime called Danny Sullivan, played by Tom Holland. Set in 1979, the 10-episode psychological thriller is told through a series of interviews with a professor who is brought in to interrogate Danny called Raya Goodwin. This character is played by Amanda Seyfried. The series is created by Akiva Goldsman, the acclaimed Oscar-winning screenwriter of A Beautiful Mind. The Crowded Room is also inspired by the true story documented in Daniel Key's 1981 nonfiction novel, The Minds of Billy Milligan. The book chronicles the life and trial of Milligan, who was the first defendant to ever be found not guilty due to dissociative identity disorder. But the creator of the series didn't want it to be a straight-up adaptation of real-life events. Goldsman said, For me, it was about really creating empathy, to create a character that you would really ally with, that you would feel connected to, and so his journey would become the audience's journey. So what exactly were the crimes committed by this man? Well, in 1977, Billy Milligan was arrested for the kidnapping, robbery, and rape of three women around the Ohio State University campus area. However, the whole case became complicated when Milligan insisted that a man named Reagan was responsible for the robberies, while a woman named Adelana had committed the rape while undergoing a psychiatric evaluation following his arrest. So obviously, both the cops and medical professionals could not make head or tail of what he was saying. However, by the time his case went to trial, doctors had determined that Reagan and Adelana were two of ten alternate personalities that existed within Milligan's mind, as a result of severe physical and sexual abuse he had allegedly suffered at the hands of his stepfather as a child. Poor thing, right? Now what sets this case apart is that Milligan was acquitted of his crimes because of insanity caused by dissociative identity disorder. This decision taken by the court was a monumental one and the first of its kind. It remains controversial to this day. So what happened to Billy Milligan after his acquittal? Well, Milligan was placed in state-operated mental health institutions for several years. However, he managed to escape from Central Ohio Psychiatric Hospital and assumed a new identity and settled in Bellingham, Washington. Several months later, Milligan left Washington after his roommate, whom he was suspected of murdering, vanished without a trace. Shortly afterwards, authorities apprehended him in Florida and transported him back to an Ohio Psychiatric Hospital. Eventually, Milligan received a discharge from the hospital as psychiatrists determined that his multiple personalities had integrated into a single harmless persona through therapy. They concluded that he no longer posed a threat to society, but he passed away in 2014 at the age of 59 due to cancer. What a sad and disturbing story, right? No wonder it affected Tom so deeply. Let's hope that Tom can come back strong from his sabbatical, recover properly and continue wowing us with his new roles. Drop your good wishes for Tom in the comments down below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more juicy videos about Tom Holland. We will be back soon. Until then, bye.